I've got a simple system of three conduits. They all use the same feature definition and I've selected the templates to use so that I can see the inner and outer walls in profile and in plan. If I pick one of the conduits, we can see that the drainage and utilities category now includes the size as well as the shape of the conduit. Now, this information is useful if you reference the drainage file into another file. It's also helpful if you're publishing an I model, for example. But another thing that you can do with this information is use display rules to vary the symbology of the conduits based on their size. So I've set up a display style already that calls a display rule. And if I choose that, you can see how the symbology is varying. I can do the same in the profile model as well. And you see that there. If we open the display styles dialog, there's my display style and it's using a display rule. So if we have a look at that, you can see how we're using the diameter to vary the symbology of the conduits. If I start to create a new condition, then we can select from the drop down list utility link drainage and utilities and you see the diameters available there and then we can set our conditions appropriately.